G'day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the second last week of OCE League play of the OCE Championship. Of course, I am Wolfie, joined here by Korea and the RLCS Jake. Boys, how are we doing? Oh, good. Sorry, I was thinking, yeah, you are the RLCS Jake. <laughs> like, that's I, how we differentiate the two of you now. Yeah, because there's two Jakes, right? I'm really trying to alpha Jake out of the <laughs> way. <and laughs> I mean, it's working. We had to bring Wolfie and he wouldn't come back on set. That's right. That's exactly right. So, next up, guys, it's Avant versus Ground Zero. And Ground Zero, they're looking to claw back from the bottom. How does it look so far? I reckon it's not too bad, all things considering. It's a bad spot mm. they're in, but considering they have already versed Chiefs, they've already yeah. versed Tainted Mines, and the, the way their match go, it's a kind of scales in difficulty. So for me, it's like a climb back into the competition. It's a similar story to SYF, where they had a really difficult first start. Mm. It was rough that they lost to SYF, and oh, it's just been depressing for them, right? But they, we really want to see them pick it back up as they do have the easier run towards the tail end. And I think going into this match, you're probably in a good position as well, because Avant are pretty much requiring the hailiest of Hail Mary passes <laughs> to even have like the smallest chance of fourth seed. Yep. They're going to be pretty disillusioned. They're going to come in pretty bummed. And then this yeah. is Grand Zero's chance to kind of capitalize on that. Yeah, Avant, oh, they're, they're just going to have no motivation, right? Like, they're going to just look. I, I, I'm hoping they, they really like, yeah, let's push for like sixth, fifth, and maybe hope for that fourth, like, miracle beating Chiefs next week. Look at but the cash. Yeah. Oh, the cash as well. Good season. But, yeah, it's up to Ground Zero. They also have a slim chance, but they have a serious chance, and they're going to really have to... Yeah, reiterating from what you said, both these teams, it's kind of do or die at this point, yep. because we are essentially almost in the very edge of the knife going into the last week of League Play, because all these matches today really affect next week, and obviously, you know, the championship ending of getting into that top four. Yeah, so for Ground Zero, pretty much, I, I played with the spreadsheet for way too long last night. <laughs> it boiled down to that Ground Zero pretty much need to win every single match they're going forward, oh, yeah. and then every game matters as well. So if they go 3-2, 3-2, 3-2, that is very different to the odds of them getting through based on the permutations of 3-0, 3-0, 3-0. Well, we can talk about how Ground Zero are bringing in a sub this week. They've swapped out CJM and are bringing in Ghost. I'm hoping this isn't a, oh, we give up, it's too hard, and it's a more optimistic, we like Ghost, let's try this new thing and see if it works. Well, because of that, though, what would you actually choose in looking at this matchup just very rationally here between Ground Zero or Avant? Who would you pick to win it? Avant's going to be really devastated. I think Ground Zero might be going through a honeymoon. It's going to be hard to tell, obviously. <laughs> Honey I think <laughs> we, we a honeymoon have... sitting at 0-4? Like, no, 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 with no, Ghost. No, 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 yeah. it'll, be, it'll be good team vibes. They do still have a slim chance. I'm sure they'll be enjoying themselves more than last week. So I think that enjoyment will carry through and I'll put Ground Zero for the win. Yeah, I'm going to put the Lim in the slim chance and I reckon uh, they're going to, Ground Zero is going to be in a good spot. Lim has had a phenomenal season oh, yeah. Yeah. and cannot stress enough how great he's been. So yeah, I'm going to go with them all the way. See, I kind of want to blanket this with, I don't dislike Ground Zero as a team, but when <laughs> I compare them to the other seven in league play, I do think that they are, and even right now, they look like the weakest team. And maybe okay. it might change it up, but I'm sticking with Avant for now. I'm, I'm going to stick to it, but it's going to be a close one. I reckon about a 3-2. I really hope you're wrong. Like, <laughs> so that I can just eat my face. word. Runs are all bad. I'm wolfing. Oh, I've, I've never said that. I've never said that. Each and every time, it's been words in my mouth. They're not bad, the you're saying they're the worst. No, uh, that of is what league you just play. Said. No, of league play. It's very different from saying that they're actually bad. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to be quiet now and let you two talk. I reckon they're great. I reckon they're good as well. I think they've had a rough start. Yeah, it's all, all about right. that rough start. The Tainted Mines Chiefs, no one wants to start that way. It's like free losses. We are heading straight into game one of Avant Gaming versus Ground Zero and Ghost taking the first goal. Ghost used to play under the username Siniski. may have seen him before in some other competitions or playing on some bubble teams. That is a strong honeymoon showing with a goal in the first six seconds of the match. Six seconds down and Ground Zero make their mark. They are climbing back out of that bottom position so far. They have to keep this momentum flowing or otherwise it's just going to peter away. Five with a bit of air control, intercepted by Lim. Sitting in the corner here, Ground Zero might have something to do with it. Lim pops it up, received by Snarf. Five booms it away to Ghost, and the team players formulating here for Ground Zero. They're trying to get these passes across. Yeah, we've already seen some good touches from Ghost. So the two main players I want to be watching today are going to be Ghost, seeing just how he fits and gels in the team. Well, Ooh. the interception from Vive almost evened up the game. Not going to be gaming. enough there. Trying to do something with this. Now Ghost popping it up. Walcott with a quick chase. Ground Zero keeping their offensive half. Lim up to Snarf. Sitting in center, ground zero, where are they? There's no one there to offend. Ghost, over to Walcott. 
back down to Lim. No, it's a little bit too far, and Snarf Snarf just sets that one roll by. Well, it's good to see that in the first minute of play, we're already getting passes coming out from ground zero with the new player in their roster, because they would have had... Oh, wow. He's coming in strong. He's got the passes coming out. He's got back-to-back -back goals. Let's keep Ghost on. He's the X Factor right now. Ground zero with a quick 2-0 lead in the first game. Avant Gaming really need to peter out, and I think you're right. I'm going to eat my words completely. They are going to be delicious words. Oh, I don't know about that at all. Five. Now gets some nice control. Intercepted by Lim. Lim being such a big, impactful factor here. Snarf, snarf. Off to Walcott. Walcott into center. Ground zero with a third goal out of nowhere. What a strong start. A hat-trick from your new player. Not just a hat-trick, though, in the first minute 20. So is Ghost really good? I think his average is probably not going to keep up. I don't think you can maintain goals that quickly through the rest of the season. Wow. But if that's why you're coming out of the gates, I'm worried about CJM slot. Well, Ground Zero looking so strong right now, looking so dominant in this first match of the series. And now Avant Gaming get their retaliation. Okay, they've started to switch on. This is no longer going to be this huge whitewash as they do have the communication. Snuff being patient, that is something you can rely on him to do. He's somebody that will be sitting back, will be watching the game, trying to be a bit more of a smart boy. So him utilizing that position is in character. We have noticed his passive play before, and it might be working out now with Avant Gaming. Three minutes and 30 seconds down in this match, and there has been four goals, a quick shot on from Bango. Defended by Ghost, Walcott. That's an important demo there. Bango taking out the goalie, giving them an opportunity to score, forcing Ground Zero to go for challenges to buy back time. Walcott up to Ghost, now back to Bango. Bango has control, no intercepted by Walcott. The shot on net, no. Doesn't quite get there for Ground Zero. Intercepted again, Ground Zero layering this pressure on, unrelenting so far. Lim actually demos Bango in his own half, says you don't get to keep this boost. Yeah, Avant subsided under the huge pressure of SYF last match. So if Ground Zero can mimic that going into this one, they're going to be sitting in prime position for taking a quick, clean win. Ghost, interrupted by the Avant defense. Vive having no boost on the wall, couldn't do much with that. Good quick play from Bango, but it gets straight over to Walcott. And again, Snuff Snuff is always there in the defense, ready to defend the ball. Ghost. It's all good and well if you can hold that defense, but it's whether or not you're going to come forward and contribute to the goals rather than just be playing not to lose. You've got to play to win. Ghost passing out to Vive. Vive, you can see Bango is ready and waiting. He tries for it, misses it though. Vive goes again. Walcott intercepted. This is an open net for ground zero. Can they make it a 4-1 lead? I think he can, Walcott, with the angle. Yeah, great read there by Walcott. The follow-through as well, getting that perfect angle at the far side of the top left of Bins. Walcott had a phenomenal two games last week. He'd had a bit of a rough season coming into it. We expected really large things from him. So it'd be good to see if he follows on where he left off and has a strong performance. He had this so one. much room to do whatever he liked in that goal, and he put it in such a nice spot. Made it too awkward for Avant Gaming. Now Ground Zero walking away with the first game of this series. Seems as though there is two minutes left, but it's a three-goal differential. Very hard challenge for Avant Gaming right now. But Liam on the back wall. Tries to go for a clear. Doesn't quite get it. Snarf, snarf. Now intercepts. Oh, it's a good challenge. But Ghost touches back down to himself. Walcott tries to go up for that one, actually. It's a three-man aggressive play. The demo works out. The position of the shot as well. Bango with the two goals. Yeah, Lim not respawning in time. Avant really utilizing the fact they got that huge demo and then be able to convert that clear into a goal, knowing the third man hadn't yet spawned. Well, that was a 38-second goal. Avant Gaming are not out for the count. Ground zero, though. Looking in fine form so far. But I think those demos are going to be pivotal towards Avant Gaming's victory. Now snarf snarf. They learned from last game. The demos were punishing. The demos That's are working. One. It is another one and another goal. They could pull this back. If they can get them in such quick successions, this could just be a huge reversal. Oh, look at the clean, smart play from Vive. The pass across, not going for the shot on, completely ruins Ground Zero's defense. One minute and 30 seconds remaining. This game is looking a bit like a 50-50 challenge right now, Courier. 50-50 either way. Now Vive, going for the challenge on Walker. Walker has control. Beats out two, actually. It is last man defender, Bango. He gets intercepted, but straight across to the other side of Art Gaming. Trying to clear this one out. Bango with the smart play. Good interception. Good little dribble. 
Walcott. Not the touch he wanted. Ghost actually demos Snarf Snarf. Stops this offensive from happening, but it's just sitting in the net. Or well, sitting in corner show. Sorry. Yeah, Ground Zero, though, despite the fact they are getting those demos, there have been some double commits and some weird rotations that have been coming out of it. Oh, the perfect positioning, though, from Ghost means that this is a two-goal differential again. He's had phenomenal offensive positioning. He's always been in the position. He's very aggressive to come up and confident with the touch. And the way he just assertively moves around the other side of the pitch, he's like, I'm either going for the ball or I'm going to destroy every enemy car that is going for the ball. Yeah, and the classic Aussie internet taking its toll. Ground Zero wanting to make something happen here. Glim goes for the challenge. Walcott is up in the midair. Now Ghost tries to pass it over to his teammate. There's no one in the corner. Ground Zero might just have a free clear. Bango interjected. Walcott up and away it goes. The now Ground Zero Sharks though, they are circling. They are circling. 20 seconds left in this first match of the day. Well, sorry, the first game of the Avant vs. Ground Zero series. 10 seconds, and I think this one is all but wrapped up. Ground Zero have taken out the first game. Much to my surprise, but I did say that it was going to be a close one, so we can't count my prediction out just yet. Yeah, you still have some opportunity for the comeback. A couple of things that I'm having the big takeaway. So, Avant are just coming off the back of a big loss pretty much knocking them out of the competition. Then they go up against another team who they could potentially beat. I mean, you're in favor of it, right? They have pulled in a substitute. This is your opportunity to be like, okay, we're in a good position. The team we have some people thinking we can beat, they've got a substitution, and then immediately, go, 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 go. It's like, oh God. Uh, <laughs> the mental well, anguish would be incredible. Ghost, Ghost made his huge impact right there. He came in and he said, I'm taking this full steam ahead and just bang, bang, bang. Got that triple score in the first, what? I think two minutes or so of gameplay. And then they kind of just sat on that lead and were able to continue from there. And it worked out so far, but I don't know whether it's going to work out in the next series because Jake said there's a honeymoon phase, right? I don't think and a honeymoon lasts like a one game though. I, I think mean, it's like six months, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, honestly, I've never been on a honeymoon, so I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> but I mean, they could keep on going forward and keep on playing well because I don't really see it changing anytime soon. But it's kind of that sporadic nature from them is to go very kind of 50-50 out of nowhere. Yeah, the thing I'm worried about is if they get a little bit too aggressive and they get punished by Avant, who like giving people a little bit too much time. And then demoing the defender and yeah. saying, this is our goal now. Yeah. I mean, that happened, I think, two in a row or, you know, yeah. about twice in the the frame of 30 seconds or so is that there was one demo we saw you know the player swans out in the corner and goes oh i need to get back into the net can't quite make it there because of the positioning of the shot and it's a little bit sad to see just because there's really no outplay apart from dodging the initial demo because once yeah. it's happened it's like well you know what can we do now but there is that huge opportunity cost for those at home that are going for those demos that if you miss you are completely out of the play that's right one player gets out of the play regardless of whether it's a confirmed or denied demo Avant Gaming looking a little bit shaky. Ground Zero walking away with a one goal lead. Now Vive takes a quick shot. No, it gets dumped on the ground. Bango trying to get ball control here. Intercepted by Ground Zero. This is their opportunity. The pressure is laying on. Vive away to the side. Now Walcott up into the center. Snarf Snarf with a quick demo. Bango with a shot. It's an open net. No, Ghost is there. The bounce out of the corner working so well for Ground Zero right now. Walcott with another free shot, but Bango was a little bit too fast. I think Ground Zero had some unreasonable confidence at the beginning of that play. When they scrape through at the skin of their teeth and all three cheat into the other half, I think you need to have some moments where you're like, okay, maybe someone should stay back. Maybe someone should, or whether they'll just keep on putting on the gameplay. Now Ghost to Bango. Bango's up. Fast boy beats out Walcott as well. Now Lim trying to get the clear off the side. He gets it off the backboard. One minute in, and this is a very different game from last game. <laughs> that, that is the most easy gameplay right there. Oh, that has made my day, Korea. That is absolutely I want to know who won. Who oh. outfit the other one? I want to know who initiated and the fact that it kept on going. That was, that was fantastic. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> All right, <laughs> ground zero. Take a free shot on net. The pressure's laying on. Bango away to the side, intercepted by Walcott. <laughs> the pressure keeps going. Yeah, <laughs> I can't really concentrate after seeing that. <laughs> uh, I've lost it. Uh, Wiping the tears from my <laughs> eyes. Yeah.
<laughs> I really want to know who they were. Oh, man. Avad Gaming. Now Vive away to Bango. It's sitting in front of Net. Ground Zero, though, get the clear. Snarf, Snarf to Walcott. Walcott into the corner. Snarf recognizing he doesn't want to waste his boost there. Trying to use it as effectively as possible. Now Lim gets some control. Good read by Vive, actually. And now Lim gets a free shot. Bango, the awareness from him to go back and defend that 10 out of 10. Yeah, it was a great shot by Lim as well, picking that angle, despite the fact it may have been blocked, taking those opportunities, which are incredibly low risk, knowing there's no consecutive pass going to be coming Still from Still sitting it. just in front of Ground Zero's net now. Gra Ghost to Lim. Misses that ball, unfortunately. Ghost now challenges again. He goes for the wave dash, keeps his momentum. This is an open net. It might just sink in. No. The defender was there. Ground zero with an almost goal. Yeah, Ghost actually missed the opportunity to take the boost with it and somehow managed to get consecutive flips to allow him to get the demo despite the fact he was running an empty. And that leads to the goal as well. Oh. Gets the demo, gets the goal, and with it, starts taking away the game. It was a bit of an unfortunate challenge there. You could see Ghost takes the quick shot, but Vive faked the challenge instead of going for it. You gotta decide, you can't really be indecisive, especially in league play, and especially when these games matter the most, Korea. Yeah, it's a wrong game to be a faker. Wrong game indeed. Five gets demoed out. Ground Zero taking a leaf out of Avant Gaming's book. Snarf, snarf with some control. Nice little flick over the top. Lim challenging away. Walker touching down, gets challenged by Lim as well. Ground Zero, one nil, I think. You're right in your prediction. I have a feeling that I'm going to be eating my words. It is only 145, though. It already feels like a different sort of game. The, the actual number of goals scored has massively dropped off, and the way the performance is going with both teams has started to change. I think they've definitely become comfortable with each other, recognizing how they play, what kind of positions they're in. Weird headbutting in the goals. That's it. Demos as well. Snarf, snarf. The ball's just sitting in front of Avant Gaming's net, but no one from Ground Zero ready to receive. You can see the panic from Snarf Snarf. He tries to just kind of kick that ball away, get it out of his half. Walcott bumped it up. Goes. I reckon he should have gone for the clear, to be honest. I reckon pushing that ball into the corner. Lim now with a free shot. Ground zero, make it a 2 0 lead. You got to be able to utilize those positionings. We saw the ground zero because Zavan didn't get it out of their half, then went aggressive and converted into a goal. When you have Snarf go and push the ball into the corner to get boost to then continue the play, you open yourself up to too much of a counter attack. Well, you can clearly see that they're panicking because Snarf Snarf had no vision of an opposing player in that field and admittedly there should have been someone challenging but ground zero now walking over Avant Gaming's defense. Ghost has had one of the best ever showings of a sub just coming through into a match. Oh yeah, no, he's saying I don't deserve to be a sub here. I am a player to be reckoned with. One minute remaining and Ground Zero have a firm chokehold over Avant Gaming. Lim goes for the kickoff. Walcott and Ghost, a speedy boy he is. Walcott gets the boost as well. It's sitting in front of net again. Ground Zero almost had another free opportunity. It felt like Lim didn't even want that one. Yeah, he was he's just got picky it off. now. <laughs> Well, I think you can be a little bit picky when you're 3-0 up, but now it's 3-1, Korea. you got to be a little bit more... You can't be as juicy now, right? When when they're starting to get the counter-attacks coming through, when you have those three-man offenses, it's all good and well until you fail to score. Oh, 100%. And you open yourselves up to these free goals that just come from your opponent's side of the pitch. No opportunity to even stop it. It was just too hyper-aggressive from Ground Zero. There was three players committed. No reason to get back. Now, Ground Zero. Need to reset a bit. Avant Gaming needs to layer on a bit more pressure and get two goals in the space of 35 seconds. Lim cleared away to Snarf Snarf. Snarf into center. Ghost goes for the challenge in midair. He makes it. Walcott touched away. It's sitting in front of net again. Ground zero on the defense now. The retaliation attempt here. Vive has a free shot. He makes it. Gives it a 2-3 lead to... They may have actually closed this one at Close the gap on this one with Vive coming back in time. Gets past the first one with a little bit of patience, allowing them to make the mistake, and then gives himself the time to just pop it over defense. I think it looks like all six players are freaking out right now because all of them are realizing how close this match is. And for both of these teams, a win here is vital. Yeah, for Avant, there is that slimmest of slim chance that they could still qualify. But for Ground Zero, when every game matters, they need to just quickly finish this whole thing off. 10 seconds remain. Bango has a free opportunity here. He almost makes it. Avant Gaming need this goal right now. Vive is a little bit too slow to that ball. One second remaining, and I think this is all but done and dusted. Ground zero. 
are keeping the wall up. No, they're not. It is a two-game lead to ground zero. Yeah, Walcott going up for that backboard defense was critical and just closing it out nice and safely and not giving them any more opportunities for following up touches. Ground zero. What a showing. I'm actually very impressed by how they've played, and I think we both know I'm pretty toxic towards ground zero, but for me, they've, they've outplayed or outshined how they've been playing previously. Yeah, the pickup of Ghost has been so good. There has been very few times, maybe once or twice this season, that CJM has had a performance that would mirror that of Ghosts in his initial showing. And that's not a problem with what CJM is typically like. I think this has been a surprisingly weak season for him. Yeah. He's kind of a player that you do have high expectations of, even though he hasn't had high results. We've seen him around the scene yeah. for so long now. We've known him to be one of those players who is usually, you know, when he first came in, he was one of those up-and-coming players that you'd definitely be looking at and saying he has a lot of potential to mm -hmm. and room to grow. And I think that Ghost coming into this team now has really gelled well. And against Avant, it works. But the only question for me next is, will it work against, you know, the other teams that they have to face? Yeah, and it's I think there's a stylistic advantage you have here. Avant do give you a lot of room to play with, and Ghost is incredibly aggressive. He just comes right at you, and if you give him room to play, he just decimates you. It's a very similar thing to the previous match. See, for me, and the weird thing was, right, is that I wrote down here that I can't keep on making excuses for Ground Zero. And in all honesty, I can't. They're playing too well now that I can't say that they are one of the weaker you teams. Just be like, it's a different roster. Yeah. It doesn't count. Yeah, I'll be like, nah, you guys are all wrong. I'm actually right. It's totally different. It's all ghost. Well, ground zero with a 2-0 lead. And the last five minutes, or the last five minutes, the ground zero want to play in this matchup right now. Uh, getting underway. Lim tries to go for the quick challenge. Doesn't quite make it. The ball sitting in the midfield. Snuff, snuff. Oda Vive gets challenged away. Ground Zero need to get it out of their half right now. A quick pass to Bango. The plays from Avant, but the defense from Ground Zero is there. Ghost now has a bit of control here. Ground Zero might get a bit of a retaliation shot. Yeah, Walcott bought them some time and then turned the offensive right back round upon them. And now it's their opportunity to utilize that strong offensive power to get Ghost another it's goal. It's exactly what happened. Avant overcommitted. They pushed way too far forward. And then they were just caught out in defense. The pass to the side the shot off from ghost ground zero playing so well right now i love the way that they've quickly managed to pull him into the rank and he's like yep i'll just run forward i'll do some crazy stuff if you guys were to back me on great situations you know i will be there avant gaming wanting to get retribution for this game here five with a quick demo on ghost and five again with a second demo on Double limb kill. snuff snuff with a quick pass over to vive five Tries to pass it away to Snarf Snarf. Ground Zero could have another opportunity, but Noah gets touched away. Bango challenged in the midfield. Vive pushed away. Is Snarf Snarf there? No, I think it's a bit of a chip and chase ordeal for Vive. Ground Zero, Ghost, challenged by Lim. Snarf manages to steal it out from under their noses, though. Walcott's opportunity to try to get a bit of a showing this match. Vive, quick shot. No, gets intercepted. Ground Zero on the back foot. Now Lim, away to Vive. Recognizes he has a bit of time, tries to pass it over to Bango, but the speed and pressure from Ground Zero is a little bit too much right now. One nil lead, and they're just sitting on it. Walcott, good play from him. Pass over to Ghost. The shot isn't on. No, the passing plays are out of control right now for Ground Zero. There was five passes in the space of about three seconds there. Snarf, snarf. Now over to Bango. Bango taking a quick shot onto the backboard. Lim with a good clear. And I think it's just going to sit in the midfield. Yeah, good reads there from Vive, though. As the ball was ping-ponging around him. He managed to find the crucial one that was going to lead to the goal and stopped it in time, saving his team from being Look destroyed. at how aggressive both of these teams are playing, those three-man offensives. And it's working out for either of them. And it's sitting in front of Ground Zero's net right now. Vive, he's up on the wall. Can he go for a roof shot? No, he doesn't quite connect there. Ghost. Away to Lim. Lim tries to go for a bit of a solo play. You can see as well, though, Walcott on the side. The shot out of nowhere. Ground Zero making a 2-0 lead. Bango not getting that connection. The steal coming out from Ground Zero was enough to catch them unaware as the rotation was not expecting that to happen. Vive wasn't quickly enough going to make it from rear post because he thought that Bango had it covered. You saw Walcott was there for the previous five seconds. He was sitting in that position just waiting for the opportunity. And he gets a little bit of a cherry pick there and able to get that goal lead. Ground Zero sitting pretty comfortable right now. Bango with a quick demo. The shot on. It's sitting right above net. No, Lim gets the clear off the side. Snuff, snuff. Challenged. Bango. He goes for the ball here. Walcott. 
Vive passing over to Snarf Snarf. They have to do something here. Need to make these challenges count, but they can't. Walcott now touched away. The bump on a Bango actually ends up working out. Ground zero still with a 2-0 lead. Yeah, Walcott is like the unsung defensive hero of this game. He's done such a great job in halting the Avant aggression and just allowing the opportunities for his teammates to push forward off it. Well, I'll happily be wrong. Ground Zero playing so well right now. Bango off the side. Lim is ready to intercept. You can see as well, Ghost is there, and he makes the connection. He has an insane average. If they can do some win this match, closing it out, what's that, like eight goals or something phenomenal? Something absolutely insane. For someone who's just come on as the sub, he looks like a core player. They look like a cohesive core unit. Ground Zero. Beating my expectations and beating a whole boatload of expectations from the audience at home. Now Walker with a quick intercept. You can see the double commit oh, and Lim angle. finishes it off. See how fast they're playing. I think they've ran away with it now. The big takeaway for me is the ground zero. They may have got the communication. They may have got the touches working together as a team. But this is a 3-0. That's the important thing for me. Yeah. The fact that they can take this away, giving them some leverage going up against their next matches so they can drop a couple of games. Oh, because if I they drop more than three, they're pretty much out. I'd be sitting comfortable if I was ground zero. A 3-0 lead, even though you are at the bottom of the ladder, it always feels so nice just to get a lead like that so that you could even be pushing up. And if it comes to a tiebreaker situation, Courier, a 3-0 looks fantastic on your roster. Yeah, I think three games is kind of like the magic point for them, where if they lose more than that across the three wins they need, they might still be in trouble for the tiebreakers. Avant Gaming having to do anything here to get a goal. They have to do it, and Bango is one of the first. Three goals in a minute. It's going to be hard pushed. It's going to be real hard pushed. It is going to be real hard pushed. That was a 38-second goal, Courier. You need if to they increase try the and do the same, they have to increase the pace, and those demo plays are what's working about 50% of the time. They might get a demo, but they need to have that follow-up, that conditional advantage, and use that and utilize that to make the lead happen because each and every game, they've been sitting from behind and always just get a little bit too short. And when you are playing a team that is happy to get aggressive, happy to try go those counter attacks or intercepts, you're in a struggling position. You don't have the time to get three goals because you just need to get in their face, you need to do some cheeky kickoffs to shenanigans and try to make things happen as quickly as possible regardless of the risk. Avant Gaming. Need the three goals in 40 seconds. Lim trying to pass it away. Vive to Bango. Snarf, snarf. It's a bit of an open net for Avant Gaming. Bango touches it down. Snarf, snarf. Wasn't in the correct position there. Walcott stuck in the corner. Vive tries to pass it away, but Ghost with the correct reads. You can see how fast he's playing, and it's working out. 16 seconds remaining. Ground Zero have done this. It is a 3-0 victory. I said 3-2 to Avant Gaming, I was totally wrong. And I am so happy to be wrong because Ghost right now has played incredible as we get some incredible lag on that game there. Well, that goal, whilst it may have closed that gap slightly, with one second left of the clock, they are locked out. With ground zero, though, one of the big takeaways for me is their climb continues now. They were in the bottom eight. This will allow them to climb up out of the bottom two. And the next match, that'll give them the potential to climb them into the top four. So this is their opportunity now. A 3-0 victory for Ground Zero. Sitting pretty damn happy with themselves. Ghost playing out of his mind. Wow, I'm honestly just a little bit kind of shell-shocked or shocked for words there. I don't really have anything to say. I'll get you a hat. You can eat that later. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, that was, look, that was a really good showing. I'm very impressed by how Ground Zero played in this matchup. And I think it was also partly due to Avant Gaming having, or a little bit lacking in defense. But Jake, what are your thoughts on all it? Mm. Yep. So unsure of themselves. And then Ghost just brought this confident attitude that subs don't bring. That was so weird. Yeah, Go in the very first game, I think it was, what, two or three goals in the space of 30 seconds yeah. at the very start of it. And all of them was Ghost just being so quick, so mm. confident. When subs normally come into teams, they play far back. They they want to get carried. They're like, I don't want to get in the way. Mm. Ghost was like, nah, you guys need me to carry, <laughs> and I'm coming. Yeah. He really did his job, and it worked yeah. out so well. I think that the team play was there, which is a big thing, especially when you're bringing a sub. Yeah. You don't expect yeah. those passing plays to be working out a lot, but Ghost gelled so well with that entire team. That was phenomenal. I think it was pretty much the Ghost show. We did have Walcott having that final game that I think was really nice. Yeah. He has been a little bit hot and cold over the season, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. But I think all in all, we did get to see some good showing from him as well. Yeah, I was a bit 
Again, I was expecting Walcott to really step up, because obviously Lim's been incredible, and I was expecting Ghost to be back. So I was thinking, oh, Walcott's not playing too great. Game three, really picked it back up. Really looking like a honeymoon team. Like you said, they're really getting those nice passes that we're really missing throughout the whole season. Which is really strange, because they haven't had as much time to practice with this roster, yeah. to have such good connections all the way through. And we had, like, consecutive passes throughout the entire play. It was like the five, five pass attack was stopped by Vive. Well, it, it kind of shows that teamwork in Rocket League is almost, like, confidence base more than experience and synergy you mm. can just like if three players are feeling really good together they will play more as a team than a team who is sad who have played together for like six months so a oh, poor Avant being the sad <laughs> voice i wasn't implying anything but you could make that link well Bengo was really carrying actually Bengo had an excellent season scored like every goal except one like but a lot of them were solo goals right it wasn't that yeah. kind of passing between the team it was very much like this is my game i can do the solo goal to make it happen yeah i think that's why you get Bango though right like every season you have Bango. <laughs> it's like we put Bango on a team Bango will guarantee that we'll be into the league play and then we'll <laughs> probably be somewhere in the middle bottom Bango, Bango showed a lot of class yeah. this season, and especially this series, and it's, I reckon his future's still looking good. Yeah, Bango and CGM, they, they, they remind me of like a similar, you uh, can put yeah. them on a team to like guarantee a certain amount of success. Yeah, like you said before, we do expect a bit more from CGM, he's definitely had a rough season, I'm expecting him to come back stronger. Mm -hmm. Well, it was an incredible showing from Ground Zero, and a little bit unfortunate for Avant, but we will see Ground Zero very, very shortly, just after a quick little three minute break.